helping our brain and changing our brain. We've all probably heard in the news how brains are plastic. Our brains are plastic, or the technical term for that is neuroplasticity. Another thing which we um, hear about is, you know, increasing rates of Alzheimer's disease, which is a condition of the brain. Now, I'm sure you'll agree that it would be great to have a healthy brain for the length of our whole life, because we really wouldn't want to get to a stage where... Um, our brain began to malfunction and we couldn't remember the people in our family and um, that wouldn't be good. So I think we're all fearful brain. about malfunction and if you ask any brain specialist or someone who studies brains, who looks at scans of brains, they'll tell you that um, one way to keep your brain active put it to use and actually there's a study a specific study Adult about learning mandarin published in 2012 i'll put the link I'll put the link down below the study took um 25 people 11 people um over i think like a nine month period did intensive mandarin chinese they learnt, uh, written and spoken modern standard chinese for nine months that's what the adults in this study had to learn and there were 16 people didn't learn a new language and then they took brain yeah, scans. So they found that there was improved connection in the brain, so better white uh, matter in the brain, which is the connective tissue. And so if your brain is better connected, then it works better. It's clear evidence that uh, learning a language is a great thing to do adult years or um, after you retire. So neuroplasticity is a thing. On this topic, a couple of my students, we celebrated their 100th lesson this week. So that was a surprise for me in the middle of the class. Uh, they brought out a beautiful 100 lesson cake, so we got to celebrate. So that was really cool. And I'm sure they won't mind me sharing this, but when we're sitting out there or standing out there on their veranda practicing our Chinese and they're coming up with this amazing sentence of Mandarin that they probably wouldn't have dreamed they'd be able to say a few years ago I can feel the energy in their brain working so yeah you can actually witness it happening I didn't become bilingual until I was in my early 20s and it is a very cool trick to have so uh, that's why I like inspiring people to um, learn a second language uh, not just because it's good for your brain but because it opens up a whole new world for you all right, so come over to my website, studiochina.com.au, where you can sign up for my email updates. And you could also subscribe to this YouTube channel, please. And I'll see you next week for another episode of Studio China Chats. So we can always be learning something new.